the king king j back with another video this is the kazuya guide now kazuya is going to be a very hard character to break down for a new audience people that just want to get involved in tekken but i'm going to try my hardest to get you involved as much as i can and not complicate things and make things too hard so this is the kazuya beginner guide i hope you like enjoy remember to subscribe if you haven't the people that have subscribed really appreciate you for supporting me and you've kept me motivated to do stuff like this for Tekken 8 really appreciate you so let's get into things so we have this character here Kazuya Mishima that's a bad guy in this game right he uses the Mishima style now a lot of people are probably thinking hey there's that guy from Smash he's got that Mishima style what is this he, he I'll tell you what the Mishima style looks like for other characters because there's people like Heiachi that's not in this game you have Devil Jin you had Jin back in the day when Tekken 3 where he used the style um, you have Devil and Angel in the previous games that use the style. I'll show you for people that don't know what it looks like. So, Mishima style usually consists of 1 1 2, uh, 1 2 2, usually consists of a Hell Sweep of some sort, Electrical God Fist, uh, sometimes the Jumping, uh, big, big Jumping uh, Lunge Fist. And then it usually consists of axe kicks, 4 4 3 as well, and usually the stone headbutt. This is the Mishima style that, you know, most of the characters that use the style use, they all have this, right? So, anyways, now I'm going to talk about Kazuya. Now, if you have not watched the Wave Dash guide, I urge you to, and the Electric and Godfist guide, which is coming out probably later on in the week. So, this character here is really cool right but it, it's such a difficult character so you're not gonna really see much of him on online ranked you're not gonna really see many people playing him that much because he's quite difficult and all of the stuff that i'm doing now you would have to be playing the game for some time but i'm gonna bring you up to speed right of this stuff that you can do with him so first things first he has one one which is kind of an it's an annoying kind of like push tool you could just jab if you jet one one is pretty good down back two uh, 443 is a good tool. 443 is a launcher. So, with this, an electric wing god fist, these are launchers. He also has while standing 112, one, which is a launcher as well. So, with this, if you get this, you get 314, which is that juggle. 314, down forward 1, down forward 2. So, you hold it down forward when you press 1, 2. If you don't, you get down forward 1, 2, which is the mid high, but you want the mid mid move, which is this right uh, on top of that he has the usual Mishima stuff I'll tell you why electric and god fist is so good let's put it on block sorry put it on block so if I did the normal god fist I get 10 so this is 10 right if I do electric and god fist it's plus 5 but I don't want to talk about frames, but you can kind of see the difference in between when I'm doing this one and this one. The, the, the methods for doing Electric and Godfist, I'm going to tell you briefly in this video, but there's a video that actually explains it and will show my hands of me doing it on pad, is press forward, let go for a, just a little bit of a second, and then press down, down, forward, quick. But the down, forward, and two will be like pretty much the same. So it's like literally, there we go, like that. I'm, I'm not really great at doing it on PS5 pad, but nevertheless, I can do it. So, the reason why the wave dash is so important is because usually if you see a guy crouching towards you, you're thinking, oh, okay, he's going to do a low. Then he's standing, then he's crouching. Imagine, you see someone like that in real life, you're thinking, bro, this guy is crazy. So, you're seeing this even in a game, you're like, what, what's going on? Why is he doing this? He might do electric, he might do a hell sweep, which is uh, crouch dash uh, 4 1. He might, he might just stay there and do while standing three. You know, you could do stuff like that. Or you could stay there and do while standing one plus two and out the crouch. So you could like literally stay there, boom. Like that. You could do any anything out of this crouch dash, which is what makes it scary. But the main thing that you're trying to look for, the main game plan is usually the, if I could get it. There we go, the electric. And then the hell sweep. Those are the two main things that people are looking out for. Then you mix it up with four, four, three. So they don't want to get they don't want to get this because you get launched. They don't want to get knocked down because it's doing damage and it's starting to add up. 
and they don't want to get this because this does damage and you're going to be up in the air for the combo so that's the free way mix up when the wave dash is happening once you master the wave dash and you start mastering wave dashing and then doing electric i can't do it out of, out on this on this pad to be fair but you could once you mastered how to do it oh there we go so i had one that come out but yeah i don't play this character like that but in the demo i was rinsing him i played it like Tekken 7, I was rinsing, like, you know, casual characters like Kazuya, Heiachi, like, this character was kind of, for me, was just like, you have to play him in it. Like, if you're playing this game, you have to play him, but there was a difficulty barrier with the character, that's the thing, so, yeah. You could wave dash into throw and stuff like that as well, but I'll get into the throw part a little bit later on. So, yeah, you've also got plus frame stuff, so like forward four, force crouch. You got good lows like down back four. In my opinion, I think this low is pretty good and it hits grounded. And flips them over in the ground. You also have down back two. Uh down back one. No, down one plus two. You can cancel with down back. So why would you want to do that? You could do stuff like this. Make them duck and then, you know. And then just mix up with a hell sweep. So that's where the mind games would be. So then, on top of that, sorry. Got down back three, which is good. You've got down back two. So this move is good. On counter hit. Knocks them down. You get four, four, four. Four, four is a good move. It's quite annoying. Um, instantly spin from it so yeah it's pretty pretty annoying so Kazuya's stuff yeah back four as well so so doing stuff like that after you've done the combo so let's say if it's up, I just do a standard combo. Let's do. Sorry, let me go. You do crouch dash four one. That would be your combo ender, right? In terms of other stuff, you got down down back one, down back one two, which is a natural combo. It's cheap. It's actually, thirteen frame punish. Really, really good. But again, I'm not going to get to punishment. And then you also have like while standing one, two. So like if you block, if you block a big low, you'd either be doing while, while standing two, which is 16 uh, frame stop, or while standing one, two, which is 13 frame. So I do think that's 30 frames. You get like a, you get like a 30 frame launcher. So yeah, this character is really, really strong. In turn, if once you've got execution down, in my opinion. So I talk about down back four, that, 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 and um, this is to stop people from ducking as well. Because this, you don't want to get hit by that. So yeah, when he goes into heat, he turns into devil. So he has a bunch of other stuff. <coughs> also, his electrics don't require perfect inputs. <coughs> yeah, so they, but they, it's kind of easy mode electrics for you. You just gotta do the inputs. It's, like it's easy mode electrics. Yeah, so I don't have to do the, all the hard inputs. Um, outside, outside the heat, I do, but inside the heat, you don't have to. He also gets like laser beams as well. So he's got like a bunch of stuff. Like not being able to do the electric input is crazy but it does take some of your heat bar so yeah i'm gonna go into the throws he has a down back one plus two throw and he has full forward one plus two as well but i just want to show you oh it's up forward one plus two they changed the input <coughs> so he has this from which leaves them close they are both one plus two break throws though so it's not 
It's not a great. Oh, you can do one plus two. You can do four forward, one plus two as well. So I don't think it affects the damage because it's easier. Some, let me see. Nah, still 35s. So, yeah. And then he has his normal stuff. So, here's a bunch of stuff that you can get in his devil form when he's in the heat. You wouldn't want to... You could do this if you want to troll, I guess. And this is to absorb an attack. Then he has this stamp. So, down back 3 plus 4 is a stamp which hits low. But then you could do down forward and do like maybe like a god uh, god fist or you could do a health sweep. It's, in, it's entirely up to you for mix up. Up back one plus two is the laser beam, but you can duck it. People can duck it. Up one plus two is the high beam. Four four two, you get this attack grab. And then crouch dash one, you get that. Crouch dash three, you get the fly kick and you get laser beamed as well on top of it. Crouch dash four one one, you get this. Then you get sidestep two as well. And that is it for Kazuya. So in terms of like game plan as well, for me personally, I would say that his game plan is just the stuff that I told you. Four forward three, uh, crouch dash two, crouch dash four, uh, one. Those stuff are the annoying stuff. And then you could just start like looking into like what moves you want to use. Uh, me personally, I don't really feel like that you could use this move. Um, but I personally don't recommend using it because it's on the heavy plus it's on a heavy minor side and it's not as good as how it was in like on the earlier stages of the game yeah he's moves less there's not there's not really much going on so that's why it makes also makes it hard he, has, he doesn't have like that much flattering moves like he has like you could use running free as well and he has down he has down forward um that forward two one so you could use that in a combo because that actually does the tornado attack so yeah, then he has while standing one plus two, you know. He has a bun. He has he has he has some good stuff, but yeah, electric, axe kick, hell sweep, mix it up with some throws, and obviously the devil form as well. The devil form is quite cheap because with devil it's like oh man, like you now got a guess. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, in terms of the tornado moves, yes, yeah, sorry. I, went into, I was trying to look for the the, the number one tone like because usually in this game they have a tornado move that is one hit two hit and three hits but i didn't know what this, the first one is but yeah you could use this one forward two and then the other one is down forward one two and then down forward two one three and you could charge up i don't know how how to charge upon fully fully works in a combo oh so you could probably charge up for a little bit like that so yeah that is Kazuya in a nutshell like how to kind of like get get started with him again like I said I could it's the wave dashing that you you need to learn just obviously movement as well sidestep one plus two you know sidestep three as well is a good move it knocks down so this is pretty good you can't do anything like that though I don't Maybe you could bound. Let me see. Oh, he burst, sorry. Yeah, I'm I'm on. Yeah. It's a difficult character. In my opinion. Difficult character. Compared to what everyone else has. There's so much characters that have like so much better things, but Yeah. But I don't doubt you probably could get a combo. I just don't know what the combo would be. Yeah. <laughs> Guess that's Kazuya, man. Kazuya is hard, man. Hard character. But yeah, hopefully you lot enjoyed this video. Remember to leave a comment, subscribe, and yeah. Emoji for favorite engagements. You know, I like emojis. But yeah, other than that, yeah, this character, wave dash, learn how to wave dash, and it becomes a bit more easier. Like, he just doesn't, like, string wise. Like what, back three, one, four, one. Back three, one, four, one. Back three, one, was it? Back three, one, four. Yeah, back three, four. Back three, one, four, one. Uh, down forward, three, two. 
That was three, two, one. Let me see in heat what it does. I want to see if it if it actually breaks the guard. No, it just pushes them away. I think they should break guard. If I'm honest, this is for all the Kazuya players. I think they should break guard if he charges. He definitely deserves something like that, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, that's Kazuya. Hope you like enjoyed, and yeah, we'll be on to the next video. Peace. All right. So one more thing to add that when he's in heat mode, he has a heat smash move. I didn't talk about this. But I'll talk about it now. So, like, obviously, people are going to think, yeah, because you're in heat, you're going to do the low heat smash. Nope, you could do an overhead. But on top of that, you can also, once you're in heat, do the heat dash cancel into a combo that you want to. But just to show you, the heat smash is a low, but it is punishable. It's minus 14. So just be careful. I uh, think that is it and the video is wrapped up. There's no more extras. Take it easy. Peace.